folks, how are you? Uh, as you probably noticed, I had to leave Sosda Ray uh, very fast because of the rain. I was running against the rain, basically. And uh, it was good because I had some stretch of the road uh, without rain, but then it finally got me here near Pamplona. And I just got a, a bunch of rain, so uh, it's been pretty fun. Uh, I can't show you the map right now because it's everything super wet, but uh, I'll show you at the end of the day when I got to the hotel and, and can walk you through over what I did today. But basically, I left Sosdo Rey and I, I made my way here to Pamplona and here from Pamplona, I'll make my way up to the Pyrenees finally. I'll cross, uh, I'll cross the border to France and I'll, 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 cross, I'll go through a city called Saint-Jean-Pied-de-Port which is a famous city in the Camino de Santiago. Uh, so that's it, let's go. The weather is, the weather is still bad, uh, it's, still, it's a drizzle now, but the, the forecast, that's getting better. Uh, so I think I'll be fine. Uh, so that's it, let's go. Did a quick stop at this restaurant here. Nothing like a hot meal to reduce the suffering from all the rain I took this morning. Uh, it looks like the weather is improving now, so I don't think I will take a lot of rain anymore. But uh, yeah, this morning was a lot of rain. I'm making my way up to the Pyrenees now. Uh, I'll cross the border between Spain and France and he reached this city called Saint-Jean-Pierre-de-Port. So, let's go.
just a quick stop here to show you uh, how I just made my way through Sanjia, uh, Pied de Port, and now I'm heading to Espinal, which is the city where I'm going to sleep. I'll cross again to Spain and I'll sleep there. But I'm quite in 48 kilometers from, from the place, uh, from my hotel this night. And if you take a look here, you can see the elevation uh, profile of this. So we have 48 kilometers missing today. We are now at 287 meters high. We are going to above a thousand, down below 350, and now then above a thousand again. So in this next 48 kilometers, will be really a roller coaster in the mountains to finish the day very well. So let's go. Quick stop here. Uh, I'm uh, 950 meters now. The top of the mountain there was really, really foggy. I couldn't see like uh, three to five meters in front of me. I just record a little bit. I'll, I'll see if I can if that that footage is usable because it's it's kind of rainy, super wet. So uh, it's been it's been a fun wet day. The the weather is not good, but the the view is pretty cool from here. Uh, it's really, really mountains, and uh, yeah, it's even with the weather like that, it's still beautiful. Uh, so keep going my way down. Still have some time to go, uh, and then I'll probably drive back the main road again and make the second peak, but this time in the main road. So that's it. Let's go.
so that's it folks another day uh, concluded mission accomplished uh, 200 kilometers going across from Spain to France and back to Spain with a lot of rain uh, uh, especially around Pamplona there I got a lot of rain and it was it was tough and also in the in the first pass I made crossing to to France was was really tough uh, but it was awesome uh, and the, especially the two passes at the end uh, the, the the first one was I think the the most dramatic and foggy and cold pass I ever made like a, I, in some points I couldn't see like three four meters in front of me it was really really crazy so yeah it was was i'm super tired i i never got so happy to see a, a hot shower in my life and it's uh it, but it's it was an awesome day uh, i'm here in this hurao hostel is as you can see there is nothing here there is this automatic uh, gas station but it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere uh it's a place where uh the People that are, that's walking the Camino de Santiago stops here to refresh. They give the official stamps of the Camino here as well. So, yeah, it's a it's a it's a beaten path for the for the walkers. And that's pretty much it. Let me show you here in the map uh, what I did today. Uh, I left Sosdo Rey Católico as I was saying in the morning, and I made my way avoiding the highways here to Pamplona. From Pamplona, I made my way up, and eventually here I took a right turn and entered uh, France, in that spot where I took the photo there. Uh, from there, I made my way to Saint Jean Pierre de Port, and then from there, I made the mountain pass, which is this U-shaped place here. And uh, I got back to the main road, and now I'm in this small place here. They, it's not even in the map, so I just made an X there. Uh, do not forget. Tomorrow I'll make my way to the uh, east here and start seeing some places. I, I have a I have an original idea of the route I'm going to do tomorrow, but I I met some motorcyclists in the ferry and they suggest me some changes. So I might do a little bit different. I'm still figuring out. So tomorrow I can tell you a little bit more about what I'm going to do. And that's pretty much it. I'll now take a shower, relax a little bit, and have my dinner and sleep like there is no tomorrow. So that's it. Thanks, folks. See you tomorrow. Bye.